Oh, one of President Obama's closest friends is in trouble with the law tonight. Honolulu police arrested and charged him for soliciting sex from an undercover officer. Minisugimoto broke the story on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, and tonight brings us more details. Robert Bobby Tickcomb, seen here in the floral shirt, and President Obama have been close friends since their childhood days at Punahou School. The two are frequently seen on the news, golfing, playing basketball, and dining together when the Obama family vacations in Hawaii. But the president's pal is now making news for a different reason, his arrest during a prostitution sting in downtown Honolulu. After everything, when you find out who the people are... You're always surprised that they're school teachers or other people in the community or well-known people, and nothing goes by us now. We believe anything. Police say the suspect showed up at the South Street Pohukaina Street intersection Monday night to meet an escort from an online service. Tickcomb allegedly offered to pay the escort, who was actually an undercover officer, $100 for sex. It's what police call a reverse sting, an operation designed to net johns instead of prostitutes. Prostitutes obviously are committing crime, but some of them are victims as well. So we want to stop the Johns from giving them business. Officers also arrested three other men during the operation. HPD has been conducting undercover stings in the downtown Honolulu area in response to community complaints. It's one of the major issues every month at neighborhood board meetings. We always talk to the police about the prostitution. Lots of time it's near schools. It's uh, where people live in residences. And it's really a quality of life issue. Titcomb was released from police custody after posting $500 bail. He's due in court May 2nd. I'm just glad the police are doing their job and hopefully the legislature will continue looking at more uh, legislation to help us solve the problem. Minisugimoto, Hawaii News Now. Well, we did contact Mr. Titcomb, but he had no comment. There was also no response from the White House.